Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I've come with a very standard and easy problem. Uh, yet, uh, it's a different problem. It's a non-uniform hanging chain. Uh, as this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and name of this problem is non-uniform hanging chain. Guys, my current course is on Unacademy, our course of INPHO Foundation and for JE Advanced 2023, Emerge uh, for JE 2023. And advanced problem solving course for JE Advanced 2021 part uh, 2 has already started. So far one class has been conducted. And advanced GT series for JE Advanced 2021 in special classes will be continuing. And uh, in next one or two days you can expect one uh, uh, more uh, GT paper. So far we have conducted 15 papers. And advanced course for JE 2022 in uh, Hindi is going on. Currently capacitor and current electric topic is going on and a uh, uh, course on rotational mechanics uh, has been uh, started already and guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on unacademy using my code nathan sir and for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the problem statement a non-uniform chain of mass m is uh, suspended through the uh, two points which are not in the same horizontal level the entire system is moving upwards with the acceleration of a naught uh, tension in the string at the end points are uh, t1 and t2 and the lowest point is t3 mass of the string in terms of given parameters will be that is in terms of t1 t2 and t3 and acceleration a naught there exists a uniform gravity of g downwards uh, so let's discuss this problem here concept wise we can uh, see if we consider any small element uh, of uh, this chain so forces must be balanced here if we see in the frame of chain and uh, this is uh, its uh, effective weight or you can say dmg and pseudo force uh, combined and uh, this vertical component of tension and here this vertical component of tension and horizontal component of tension is going to be same because the particle is not accelerating in horizontal direction therefore uh, the horizontal component of tension remains same throughout sometimes this uh, uh, info will help you in solving tricky problems of chains uh, now here if we see the free body diagram of this entire system here so we can see the effective weight here now mg plus a naught i can write and uh, tensions vertical components are going to balance it all right and let's say a chain is making angle of uh, alpha and beta here so tension will be along the chain so i can say here t1 sine alpha plus t2 sine beta is equal to mg plus a naught now let's uh, uh, draw the fbd or uh, free body diagram of uh, one half left half so you will see the forces here uh, this tension at the lowest point will be in horizontal direction t3 and this uh, vertical component will be balancing the weight part which is not required in horizontal direction i can directly say t1 cos alpha is equal to t3 and uh, at the same time from the right half uh, you can see uh, that uh, t2 cos beta is going to be t3 so we are having this equation and from here cos alpha cos uh, beta values are known to us t3 by t1 and t3 by t2 after this we can easily say here uh, that if i substitute this uh, value of sin alpha and sin beta in this equation so t1 times this will become 1 minus cos square alpha which is t3 square by t1 square and similarly this uh, t2 times uh, uh, sin beta 1 minus cos square beta this is going to be t3 square by t1 square and if i simplify this so i am going to get this mass m as root of uh, t1 square minus t3 square plus root of t1 square minus t3 square divided by g plus a naught so this is going to be the final answer guys one important uh, remark about this problem is it doesn't matter whether chain is uniform or non-uniform in both the cases we are going to get the same expression here all right and if a naught is not there then only g will come in the denominator so it is a modification of uh, the problem which we see normally in uh, classes all right i hope you have enjoyed this uh, solution for this problem and you will remember this and such question can definitely come in j advanced type of exam they are easy and uh, yet uh, many people fail to uh, solve these problems uh, so i hope it is uh, another value addition in your uh, knowledge 
so thanks for watching this video if you have enjoyed it please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it